Let me do my snap. This is the last video of the day, my brothers. Today, I've done a lot today, and, and doing videos are very tiresome. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get off into this video. This is gonna be a treat or an extra for my brothers in the community. All right. I know everyone watched my video on um, the five tiers of jerseys. And I talked about the difference between the knockoffs and the fakes. The, the, the fakes and the, the, the authentics. Now, I have in my hand, these are Reeboks though. I don't have any Metro Nets knockoffs. I don't think I do. I'm, I'm gonna look through my, I'm gonna look through my inventory and see if I do. And I, if I do, I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the difference between these two Reeboks real quick. Okay, let's crack into it. All right, so let me crack into these two right here. Right, so I'm gonna hold both of them up. This jersey has been featured in my few of my videos. All right, now we're about to see the difference between the two, okay? So I'm gonna break this thing down to you, okay, side by side. First things first, let's look at, let's start off with the jersey. I don't know if you can see the color difference. This is fairly lighter. This looks more like a light light. This is more of a darker purple. The richness in color is another thing, another giveaway for knockoffs versus authentics. Another dead giveaway is the stitching. This stitching, if I can get it, is thick and bulky. And it's it's offset. It's not even it's, it's not even on there right. You can actually see <laughs> the overrun of stitch on that one. The number, the twill looks more like a vinyl. It's a terrible jersey. Unlike this one, nice and flat. Stitch on real nice and tight, nice and flat. Here's another giveaway. Excuse me when I say it, but that NBA, <laughs> that NBA uh, logo looked like an alien. Look at that, look at the head on that one. Look at that one. Look at that. They're like two basketballs, one on the head and one in his, on, in his hand. And you even tell even around the edges. Okay. Let's go to the back. Let's see if the jock tag lasts. That's a vinyl. That's not even a twill. That's a vinyl. <laughs> Same thing with that number. And you can see how you see how it's unra unraveling there, un unraveling there. This is a terrible jersey. Unlike this one, nice and tight. And this is an old jersey too. Okay, let's get to the side panel. This side panel is completely wrong in color. Now to end this video, compare the jock tags. That NBA is that NBA logo is all big and it's raggedy on the edges versus this one. Smaller. The NBA logo is smaller. The jock tag is smaller altogether. Everything is more on point. You can tell that's replicated. Look how big it is. Okay.
This is the replica. And this is the authentic. All right, so I'm about to go in this video here. I hate to be like that when it comes to replica jerseys because, you know, they should at least, when they sell those, they should at least tell you what you get, you know? And they put it out there and then that's even on my bag because the thing about that one, I'm gonna be for real with you, I was kind of rushed to find something and I didn't look at it close enough and I saw the price and I jumped on it. And then when I jumped on it and then I looked at it again, I said, oh man, I got myself. I caught myself slipping big time. I knew it before I got it. I said, man, dang. But you know what? I think it serves its purpose because I just showed you guys exactly what not to get your hands on because you would be pissed off. Unless you're just looking for something to cut grass in. That's it. That's a grass cutting jersey. All right, so I'm going to end this vid real quick. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the knockoff versus the authentic. Until then, it's your boy Big Baby. I want to say peace and shalom.